All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office. Uh, I want to start this video off by saying thanks to Jason, who uh, wanted my input on what's going on out there in Washington State with the... Um, I don't like to say it's an assault weapons ban. It's basically a ban on all firearms. Everyone that you could possibly imagine. And it's kind of disgusting uh, with what they're trying to do here. And they're railroading it through. No opposition. There's no nothing. Okay. And on, on the guise of they're going to have a, a safe community. So uh, there's a couple different sources. One being uh, Ammo Land. A uh, good friend John Crump over there. And another gentleman. I didn't really want to go with what they had in theirs. Because it's simply, it's just... There's so many people covering this thing. And I told Jason and the guys last night with Hank and also uh, <laughs> um, Rich, Flying Rich. Okay, so, and Flying Rich has a new channel. I'm going to put the link down below. Please go over there and subscribe to his new channel. But uh, this is a ban, 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 ban. This is just not a, just a ban on anything that resembles anything that looks like a, a weapon uh, that our Army or our Marines or Air Force or Navy would use. But it's a ban on every damn thing. Okay, so I read it. It's absolutely bad. So I've highlighted a couple sections, and I want to go through this thing. The legislature finds and declares that gun violence is a threat to the public health and safety of Washingtonians. Okay, assault weapons are civilian versions of weapons created for the military and are designed to kill humans quickly and efficiently. For this reason, the legislature finds that the assault weapons are like M16 rifles and thus are weapons most useful in military service. Uh, they're pretty close in appearance, but that's about it. That's as far as they go. Okay, accuracy, yes. Uh, are they uh, something that people use for bad things? Yeah, but also you're taking away people's rights to be able to protect themselves. So we're going to get to that in a minute because they have declared... And they're ingenious in this bill that these firearms are not used for defense. Okay. And I want everybody go out, research, put it down below. I want to know every time that somebody has used one of these things for this uh, defensive measures, assault weapons have been used uh, in the deadliest mass shootings in the last decade. All right. There's not an, un that's not an untruth. An assailant with an assault weapon can hurt and kill twice the number of people than an assailant with a handgun or non-assault rifle, which is interesting because in this little bill here, they pretty much ban anything that carries more than seven or 10 rounds. So if you're uh, a Glock owner and you can carry 15 rounds, well, guess what? You're done. Uh, all right, so we move forward. An analysis of mass shootings that result in four or more deaths found that 85% of those fatalities were caused by an assault weapon. That's a lie. That's a bold lie. And I'd like for y'all to kind of do some research for me and let me know and either email me and let me know what's going on here. Because what's happening is they, all of a sudden, you know, uh, gun violence is the leading cause of uh, deaths for children. All right, no, gangbangers are the leading cause because anyone under 18, that's the case. Um, okay, the legislature also finds that this regulation is likely to have an impact on the number of mass shootings committed in Washington. Right, so limiting the ability of people who abide and obey and follow the law. I'm not going to say obey, I hate that word, right? So these individuals who follow the law are less likely, are more likely to shoot. And basically, when, at my mantra here, as I always tell you, if you own a firearm, these people look at you as a potential criminal right off the bat. Doesn't matter what your rights are, you, sir, are a potential criminal. Okay, the legislature also finds this regulation. All right, so as I read down, studies have shown that during the period the federal assault weapons ban was in effect, mass shooting fatalities were 70% less likely to occur. Okay, 70% less likely, or was there an uptick or a downtick during the ban? Less likely. That, that's, the, that's the word, the verbiage, okay? So you have to understand what that means, okay? And I highlighted this and I put it in bold. Moreover, the legislature finds that the assault weapons are not suitable for self-defense. And that studies, I want to know who's studying, what studies are you regard, we're talking about, show that the assault weapons ban are statistically not used in self-defense. Well, you know what? In, in their definition of assault weapon, and we're going to go through the definitions here in a few minutes, Jason, they list every damn thing under the sun, okay? Pistols, rifles, shotguns, blah, 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 blah. Okay, the legislature finds that the assault weapons are not commonly used in self-defense and that any proliferation is not the result of the assault weapon being well-suited for self-defense, hunting, or sporting purposes. Ladies and gentlemen, I shoot three gun. There are people that we were shooting hogs the other day. Uh, self-defense, 
there's a list there right down below rather increase <laughs> okay this is a rather increased sales are the result of the gun industry's concerted efforts to sell more guns to a civilian market all right, so we're here. We're going to go with the, uh, uh, what is that? The Commerce Act, okay? Uh, the legislation finds that the gun industry has specifically marketed these weapons as tactical, hyper-masculine, and military-style in manner. Okay, so these that overtly appeals to the troubled young men intent on becoming the next mass shooter. Well, I'm offended by that because they didn't include the 23,000 other genders that these assholes, and of course, hey, men, how about that uh, little transgender the other day that pulled that act over there in uh, Nashville? I'm offended. The legislature intends to limit the prospective sale of assault weapons while allowing existing legal owners to retain the assault weapons they currently own. Now, I looked at a couple other things. They pulled through a definition that assault weapons means the following specific firearms, regardless of any code. Okay, AK-47 is in all forms. AK-74 is in all forms. AR-15s, M16s, M4s in all forms and then list the entire list of everything that they could possibly put in there. The bill is pretty disgusting. I'll put the link down below so you can read it. There's a couple of highlights that I did. A semi-automatic centerfire rifle that has a fixed magazine with the capacity to accept more rounds. Okay, so the definition of that, that's gone. Uh, while we're doing this, I'm just going to say um, the minute that this thing hits, the minute that governor signs the bill, the lawsuits are are acted on, okay? They're being popped in. There's going to be a large injunction put on this thing. This is far-reaching. It's typical of the left in these far-leaning left states or uh, municipalities is that they push the thing to an, an, an incredible limit that is asinine, okay? It's not practical. Uh, you're not allowed to... And I, I couldn't find anything in inheritance on this. So uh, say, for instance, I have firearms. When I die, uh, they'll go to my son. There's no registration of whatever you got in North Carolina. Uh, we don't have to register anything. It is on a 4473 if you do have a serial number on it. But here's the deal. My son's going to get whatever I want him to get. Okay. Uh, there. Done. Okay. Uh, they talk about ammunition, feeding devices, large capacity magazines, blah, 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 blah. You know the whole deal there. Let's see if I highlighted anything else down the road. Oh, yes, we did. Ah. They're talking about unfinished frame or receiver means a frame receiver that is partially. So they identified that. <laughs> In other words, they make a paperweight uh, into a whatever they want to make it. Okay, so here's the deal. Jason, just a few items that are on my mind. Uh, I think it's ridiculous. I think it's asinine, and it will not it, it won't last. It won't. Uh, it's just like anything else. They're they're going way too far. They're exceeding the, the uh, Second Amendment. Uh, they've even, oh, we're going to allow the, the firearm stores to sell or trade or move their guns out of state in a certain period of time. Does that sound familiar? I think, what is it, uh, Illinois? So with that being said, guys, um, yeah, what chaps your ass? This certainly does because if in another state, I think, is getting ready to implement the same thing. All right. That's why I live in a free state. Uh, we got a veto proof governor. We can smack it around. That guy's a lame piece of work. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, that's it. That's my two cents. Uh, let me know in the comments section down below. What are your thoughts? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. We always end like this. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. Just want to say a big thanks to uh, Hank Strange, uh, Flying Rich. We had a blast last night, and I actually I, there was a link, and I don't, some people couldn't find the link, but anyway, that's it. Take care, guys. Have a great weekend. And then the great words of the <laughs> the uh, real Cobra Burnout. Y'all be good. Boom.